Hi, I'm Martin and this is IG Reviews, a channel for software and PC tips. In this video, I will show you how to block one of the most annoying types of ads, pop-ups. I prepared a few methods for popular browsers such as Firefox, Edge and of course Google Chrome. One, browser built-in tools. Modern browsers have features to block unwanted pop-ups, which are enabled by default as a rule. Therefore, before we dive into special software, let's start with pop-up blocking features in your browser. Here's how to do it in the most popular browsers. Chrome. In Chrome browser, go to Settings and on the tab Privacy and Security, select Site Settings. Then at the end of the list, click on pop-ups and redirects to open the menu of this feature. Then tick don't allow if anything else is detected and don't forget to check the whitelist. Sites from this list can bypass pop-ups locking so remove from here all unwanted entries. Firefox. In Firefox, go to settings and select the privacy and security tab. Here you need to scroll through the long list of the permissions section. Then enable the block pop-ups windows feature respectively. Edge. Edge has a specific menu structure so here you need to open settings and select the cookies and site permissions tab. Scroll down a bit and here it is pop-ups and redirects. To activate this feature, click on the switcher. When the feature is activated, it will change color to blue, like this. If you use a different browser and need help with it, if you use a different browser and need help with it, write about it in the comments and I will try to help. That said, in all browser there is one problem associated with these features. They block only fraudulent and suspicious pop-ups. This is a really useful and necessary feature, but it leads to the fact that they ignore the so-called legal pop-ups. These are pop-ups with offers to subscribe, cookie collection requests, and special offers about products which are typical for popular websites. In the next part of the video, I will show how to improve the blocking of pop-ups on desktop browsers. 2. Blocking pop-ups with ads. If the standard pop-up blocking tools in browsers seem not effective enough, then you can try to install additional programs to block them. First of all, these are ad blockers which recognize and block elements of the web page with embed ads and pop-ups. The most obvious option is to use a free ad blocker from the store for your browser, such as Adblock Plus. This ad blocker is available for six most popular browsers, including Firefox and Chrome. To get it, open the Chrome Web Store and search for Adblock Plus. Then go to the extension page and add it to your browser along with the required permissions. Then, through the Extensions panel, open the Adblock Plus settings. Then, through the Extensions panel, open the Adblock Plus settings and allow it to run in incognito mode to stay protected from pop-ups in this mode too. Now, I will open a test web page with Adblock Plus installed. As you can see, pop-ups at the bottom and with video ads have been removed. Also, the extension removed the banners on this page. Deleting subscribe and cookie request pop-ups. Let's open another website like this one and wait for the end of loading. There are two pop-ups. The first is a request for permission to use cookies, which is a legal requirement. And the second is an offer to subscribe to the newsletter, which can close uh, by simply clicking here. At the same time, when you visit it again, these pop-ups will not be displayed again if you close them now. Most head blockers consider such pop-ups acceptable and don't block them. But if they annoy you, then it can be solved with the advanced ad blockers. Adblock. For example, here's how to do it in Adblock Plus, which is already known to you. Open the extension menu and click on block element. One of the two pop-ups hides the content of the site. Hover over the background of the pop-up after it is highlighted in red, click the mouse. In the window that appears, click block. This operation must be repeated for all elements of them. As you can see, the background has already disappeared. Now the pop-up requesting a subscription is completely blocked. And finally, a pop-up about cookies is blocked. Now let's open this page in incognito mode again. As you can see, pop-ups didn't appear anymore. I should know that some website owners counter 
such action by embedding pop-ups into the page structure. For example, here you can see that after an unsuccessful attempt to display the pop-up, the page scrolls was broken. However, there are not so many sites that do this and I have two solutions for blocking such pop-ups for you in case you need it. Adblock. The second method is also related to ad blockers, albeit those that use advanced filter lists such as AdGuard. AdGuard installation is the same as an AdBlock Plus. Find, download, allow and install. After installation it will open a window with settings. Check all sub items here to use AdGuard and click extension settings under them. In the menu of this extension go to filters. To fine tune AdGuard I advise you to check each section of this list and enable required filters. But now go to annoyances. Enable this group of filters by clicking here at the top. Next enable the AdGuard cookie notices filter then scroll down and enable the fanboy annoyances filter as well. Now let's test both test websites. On the first one all ads are still available. This is because we didn't give AdGuard permission to work in incognito mode. Let's fix it. Open the browser settings more tools, extension, next click on details on the AdGuard page, next click on details on the AdGuard badge and allow in incognito respectively. Now let's get back to the tests. The first website is clean, no ads or pop-ups. I open the second one, there is no request for cookies which is already good. Now let's wait for the second one and you see that it was blocked too. But as in the previous case this broke the site's functionality. Find out what else AdGuard can do in our special AdGuard review. Plus with the link below this video you can get it with a discount. In any case you can use both of these methods where possible or if it still annoys you Here's a third method, pop a blocker. pop a blocker is an extension available only for Chrome and Firefox browsers. Unlike ad blockers where blocking pop-ups is an additional feature, here it is the main one. So to get started download and install it in your browser, in my case it will be Chrome and do not forget to allow its using in incognito mode. Read the information on the start window carefully and click agree and continue. Note that this is a bit of a tricky interface as you can use the limited version without creating an account. At the same time, I recommend trying the full version if you are interested in this extension. Also, it will be useful to pin the popper blocker to the extension panel. Let's open the first test website. Popper blocker has weak basic filters, so let's filter our necessary pop-ups manually, like in AdBlock Plus. To do this, select Hide Distraction manually from the pop-up blocker menu. Then click Hide Element and use the yellow frame to block the unwanted pop-up. In the case of this extension, sometimes the action needs to be repeated several times since the site may use different sources for advertising in the selected pop-up. Now let's open another website since we are dealing with an overlay pop-up here, we will first select the remove overlay option. By the way, note that after each blocking a message about the blocked element appears on the site here. Expand it and select remove indefinitely if the locked item appears after reboot. Content is still unavailable. Let's repeat the same operation since the overlay can have several layers. And now the pop-up with a subscription no longer closes the content. For a pop-up with cookies you will need to apply the hide element feature since it does not use overlay. Reload the page and as you can see pop-ups tried to appear but within a few seconds buffer blocker automatically removed them. And what is the best in this extension? It did not affect the functionality of the page. Scrolling was not blocked as in previous cases. As you can see each method has its advantages and disadvantages so choose the one that is most convenient for you or combine their uses depending on the situation. P.S. Extra tips and summary. All shown methods can be used on Mac too. On Android you can remove pop-ups using ad blockers for Firefox. Learn more about this in our how to block ads on Android video linked in the description. If you see ads in the system when browsers are enabled then revoke permissions for notification by untrusted sites. If you see ads on your desktop when browsers are turned off check your system with antivirus you may be infected with malware. If you still have more related questions, 
comment below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to sub if you haven't still and like this video. See you soon.